my name is Natasha and I'm back with another Taobao series haul part 3. So this time, quite a number of you guys have asked me on how do I actually shop from Taobao or what other shipping options there are. So at the end, I will actually teach you an in-depth tutorial of how to tackle this Taobao situation. And don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions, you can always feel free to comment below and I'll always answer them. Okay, so starting off, the first item that I got from Taobao is actually this V-neck knitted camisole. So at the front is a V-neck and at the back is actually this straight cut back line. So it's knitted but I wouldn't say it's very thick so it's still suitable for Singapore weather. And at the bottom is like this red material. And although it looks tiny, it's actually very stretchable. And I got this top for 39 yuan which is around $8 SGD. And moving on to the next few items. So recently I have been very obsessed with like sand colour, nudes and like tans. So I got a few items that are of the colour scheme. So the first item that I got is actually this long beige pants. So at the front it has a black button and it's straight. And at the back it's actually stretchable and it has functional pockets. That's the that's the most important part, right? And I would say this is longer for my height, but I like the look of it. And I've recently been very obsessed with like a long pants run over your like Nike Air Force kind of look. And I got this at 70 yuan, which is around $14. So I would say like $14 for this pants is really very worthy and the quality is really, really very nice. I wore it out the other day when I went to work. It's very comfortable and very very suitable for Singapore weather especially when now it's so hot yeah so I totally recommend these pants so moving on to the next few items that I got from Taobao which is like the sand color scheme right it's from this shop called DQ store so it's this beige sand straight cut top the material is very soft stretchable and very breathable so compared to the other pink crop top that I got from the other Taobao hauls right which you know can click on I cut. I don't know which side is it but compared to that I would say this material is much better but it's much more expensive also okay I wouldn't say it's much more expensive but it's on the pricier side compared to the pink one and I got this at $14 so I guess you would pay more for the material itself yeah and it also comes with like two transparent straps so you can actually hang it up on your hanger and the next beige skin colour set that I got is actually this blazer. Oh my god, did I just <laughs> blazer? And the next item that I got is actually beige blazer plus horizontal skirt look. So the skirt is stretchable and it's an A-line skirt and inside there's also a lining so you wouldn't like, you know, tau <laughs> And then the blazer is very thin but it's not thin to a point where you actually can see through what you're wearing it has functional pockets which is important i love pockets in like clothes and yeah it's very suitable for singapore weather so i'm very happy with this buy because this whole set only cost 10 sgd for two items so one blazer and one skirt and it's only 10 dollars so i would say it's very worth it and the next item that I got which is the sand colour scheme is actually this silky midi skirt. So it's very smooth and it has a concealed zip at the side and it's of a midi length and inside you also have a lining and the material is very soft. And I got this midi skirt at 9SGD. So I would, I would say it's not bad. Like you can wear overseas on your holidays with like a sweatshirt. So moving on to the next two items that I got from Taobao. So I bought scarf this time but it's a square shape. So if you guys remember or if you guys have watched my Taobao part 2, I actually bought a scarf but it came in a rectangular shape like a long one and this time I didn't give up. I got it and I got these two designs. So one is like a mix of blue, white and a splash of red combined together and then the next scarf is a royal blue and it has a splash of gold and it has red and chains and yeah 
So I actually used these two scarf to actually tie it into a top because I recently saw on Pinterest of this scarf top trend and I wanted to try whether I could pull it off. Yeah, and these two scarf cost around $2 each. You know, you can tie it into a top which you can wear it to a beach or something. Moving on to the next item that I got. It's something I really, really love and it's this white top. So it's inspired by, if I'm not wrong, the Brandy Melville Peach Ruffer top. Very stretchy and the button, I usually don't button everything so I'll leave one button at the top. And I really love it to a point where I think I may buy other colours or other colours. And this top actually cost me 4 SGD which is, hello, it's 4 SGD for this top and it's really very comfortable like I rate it 10 out of 10 and it's also very stretchy and moving on to the next item it's more of like accessories so I got this beige foam case so it's like a sand colour and it's very very smooth so mine is a XR so I bought the XR model and this case costs $3 so I would say it's not bad and the last item that I got from Taobao is this pair of sandals so it's a little bit of a platform style and it's velcro so it can be very easily worn and it has two big buckles but it's non-functional it has platform it helps me boost my height and I got this pair of shoes for only $12 which I would say it's a steal and I would I've worn it quite a few times already and I wouldn't say that it's very painful so if you want to find like a pair of sandals which has platforms too, I recommend this. Alright, and moving on to the step-by-step Taobao tutorial. So first off, I'll teach you guys a special function that is only applicable to the mobile app. First off, you have to screenshot your photo or the item that you want and download the Taobao mobile app on your phone. Open it and then once you sign in, you will see at the top there's actually a camera icon button. Press the camera icon button and afterwards all you have to do is upload the picture that is screenshot and it will bring you to a Zhonghe page where all similar items to the item you wish to find will appear. So firstly there's a few functions on this page. You can firstly sort the items according to the number of times customers have bought it which is usually the method I use because the higher the credibility. Or you can also sort in terms of pricing, from lowest to highest, vice versa. Next, you also can sort according to categories. So this is Shang Yi, which is top, and following by dresses, and also following by others, and even bottom. So moving on, how to ship your items. So once you fill your cart with the items that you want to buy, click on the checkout button, and it will bring you to a separate checkout page. So here is where you need to input your address, choose your shipping option, and your payment information. So to further understand on the shipping information, we're going to talk about the one-time payment options. So first is direct shipping, where sellers actually send individual packages to the warehouse, but at the warehouse, there will be no repackaging involved, so it will send directly to your house. And this delivery time varies according to each seller, how fast they send to the warehouse. And the next one-time payment option is seller shipping. So this is where you have to negotiate with the seller directly for them to ship to Singapore. The delivery time varies according to the seller on how fast whether they want to send to Singapore. However, this option requires you to speak to the seller in Mandarin. So if you are not very fluent in Mandarin, it will be hard for you to negotiate on a cheaper price with the sellers. And sometimes there may be a situation where you do not want to ship internationally. So I'll be talking to you about the two time payment options. First is consolidate shipping through air fry. So repackaging and consolidation is involved and you will send to you via air. So this delivery time roughly takes around one week. And the next shipping option is consolidated shipping through sea fry. So this is where repackaging and consolidation will still be involved but it's sent to you via sea. The delivery order takes roughly one month which is longer than air. So if you were to ask me which is the best shipping method, I would definitely say consolidated shipping either through air if you cannot wait or through sea if you can wait. 
So this method actually helps you to repackage every single individual items that you bought from all your different sellers. So it helps to decrease the price of your shipping fee. So first, how does consolidation shipping work? Is you have to make your payment first for the sellers to send the items to Taobao Warehouse. After your items have reached Taobao Warehouse, you will actually receive SMS. So this SMS is an indication of which item has actually reached the warehouse. After all your items have reached the warehouse, all you have to do is go to your account and click on this button called Deng Xiong Hua. And after you click on that, you will be able to see all the different items that have reached the warehouse. All you have to do is click on this orange button, which is to consolidate, and click on the shipping option that you actually previously made on your first payment. Afterwards, all you have to do is select every single item that you want to consolidate together and click on the orange button. After clicking on the orange button, you'll be asked to choose one shipping option among the four. So first is doorstep delivery, second is self pickup, third is local collection, and fourth is self driving collection. So usually the best is doorstep delivery because all you have to do is just wait at your home. So afterwards, after you click on your delivery option, all you have to do is scroll all the way down and click on the submit and pay button. Afterwards, you'll be redirected to Alipay where you have to make your payment and a payment process page should appear. And that's the end of your Taobao shopping. So all you have to do is wait for your item. And that's the end of my Taobao series, part 3. So as usual, don't forget to watch the other Taobao series videos. But I hope this series has helped you. So don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. And I hope you guys found it entertaining. Thank you lovelies, bye!